uh, just we'll try to get a vocal level here. Hi, I'm Cram for Nicks, everyone. I'm from uh, I'm from Detroit, but we just got back from San Diego after uh, 13 years. I'm just do a real quick thing here. One, two. Oh, I might have been born to lose, and I might have broken a heart to do. It's true. There wasn't much to do. You know, it might have been me, you know, it might have been the blues. How's that? Is that mix good? Yeah. That sounds good. You sure, Brian? Yeah. A little more guitar, I, like, I, I guess. Yeah, it's right up there. It is almost hitting feedback. Okay, well, fine. Looking at the audience, I ain't gonna get fed. <laughs> all right, uh, five minutes, and I'll start. Let me just finish this, and then all you big name rock and roll bands can eat this big names. How are you, Ricky? Good. How are you doing? Good. good. Very good. You feel good. On her ass. I married this. Uh, I uh, was in New York, and I got when I was a kid, I, I, I got strung out on heroin in New York, and I, I was there for like three or four years, and I'm just a fucking mess. But uh, I went down to Florida to get off dope, and uh, I uh, was there, and I got cleaned up, you know, and like every other junkie, I started drinking, <laughs> you know, like anything I could get my fucking hands on, tequila, whatnot, fucking, uh, I just was a mess, you know, and I met this whore. At, uh, uh, at this bar called the Seabreeze Bar and Grill on Highway 19 in uh, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, a couple of weeks later, I married her. <laughs> she, uh, she tattooed my name on her ass. And uh, I fucking, you know, thought that damn, I found the one, you know. <laughs> and, uh, a couple of weeks later, I was playing a gig in Gainesville. It was a really great gig, man. I had a, it was a three-day gig and a great gig. They canceled me after the first night because <laughs> I was talking so dirty on stage. And I came home and I caught her fucking somebody, and uh, the guy kicked my ass. <laughs> and, uh, that was a double whammy, you know what I mean? Like, he was fucking my wife, and then he kicks my ass. I, he cracked my skull. I got my occipital lobe cracked, you know? It was a mess. And uh, this song's called Tattoo on Her Ass. And uh, it's on the Kim's new record that he's, he's hawking here. And I uh, hear I'm the best on there. I, I, heard, that, I heard that from myself. Okay, so I hope you can hear this. Until I found some guys fucking loop in our bed Well, there was a party going on And I started a fight I lost my love and got my ass kicked that night A broken nose and a fractured head I left my wedding ring laying right in the hospital bed and when I looked into the mirror, I looked just like the arms speaks. Oh, sometimes you need a drink. Oh, that happened last September. The lesson I learned, I don't remember. Had something to do with growing up and our lives so fucking unfair. Whoa, who fucking cares? Well, she tattooed my name right on her ass. And I thought I'd found true love at last. Well, I'll never say I do again unless it's to a Heineken. I'll never say I do again. The years went by and I wish her no wrong. You know, at least she inspired the words to this song. And I hope that her and her new boyfriend are really having a blast. And every time he fucks her, he sees my name on her ass. Oh, Oh, 